Specialized Kinevo versus Santa Cruz Bullet. Which one's better? Let's compare these. So they both come in about $9,000 with low end components. The Bullet's a little bit better of a value with its carbon frame and higher end parts. The Kinevo comes with absolute garbage except for the boxer fork. I prefer aluminum on the Kinevo because it's more forgiving. I've bent the frame. It can take a lot more abuse. One crack on the carbon, you're done. Both brands feature super good warranty and aftermarket support, so you're set there. The Bullet's more enduro and this is more downhill but in reality, we're just getting closer and closer. So, so the first thing I look at on the e-bike is the battery size. 700, can't go wrong. Wheel size, the rare full 27.5 Kinevo is a tinkerer's dream. This bike can take any wheel and any side. It's currently set up mullet to do all day adventures and it rides perfectly fine. I don't even notice the difference. The Bullet's mixed wheels are kind of a perfect compromise of speed and gravity riding. I doubt the Bullet could take any other wheels but most people don't fuck with their bike like I do. The Bullet is absolutely better to just jump on and ride. The Kinevo's monster 1,322 millimeter wheelbase feels like a BMW at high speed, completely planted and confident. The Bullet is no slouch at high speed. It's better out of the box trail manners, does come with a compromise. It feels more like a Japanese car than a heavy BMW. Looking at the geometry charts, these bikes are so similar. I didn't really like the extra large bullet to be fair, but I absolutely love the large. Both bikes are really great. You can't go wrong with either of them. Long travel e-bikes are the future.